the most solid material, metal. And the sculpture is a lady who actually wells and cuts and does things that are so amazingly powerful. And then she also did a beautiful dragon that is all fiery and all loose. And you know, what, you're working on four elements, the fire, air, and then water, and then the earth. But the fact that you cut steel and metal and bronze and all that and mold them in such a beautiful way, it's gorgeous. It's very inspired, like I said. I love your work. I'm duly <laughs> impressed by it because it's, it's really fantastic undertaking. Uh, I, I really like, uh, there's something kind of organic but, but uh, kind of Ridley Scottish about it as well. That it's just it's just got a kind of crazy energy to it, which really grabs me as soon as I looked at it. I thought, wow, it's, it's, uh, there's an intensity there that's uh, fabric, and that, that's just uh, visually what it is. It's, it's, uh, then when I hear about how it was made, uh, it becomes even more inspiring to me. So uh, I think it's one of the coolest things I've seen in a while. This is a city where everyone comes to realize their dreams and it can be very, very tough to do that sometimes. And I think that to have a sculpture like this, literally a phoenix rising from the earth, is very inspirational. And I think it's a great source of energy for people if they're coming to reflect at a park and they see something like the phoenix. I just think that it's a very, very welcome addition to the park, a sculpture like this. Hi, my name is Massimo. I work in uh, shipping, uh, uh, I love art, uh, I have been um, working uh, so many years in, uh, in Monaco, this is how I know Caroline, uh, as a Monegasque artist uh, in New York, my wife is from New York, I always enjoyed uh, her paintings and now I came to see her structure with this uh, wonderful uh, uh, metal uh, sculpture where uh, there is a lot into it and uh, a lot of imagination comes out of it. Hello everybody, my name is Bill Black. I'm a good friend of Caroline's. I am a uh, film and television producer by trade and um, I'm just here to talk about how immensely impressed I am with Caroline, Caroline's sculpture that we've seen today. I've seen her smaller work and I've always been impressed with her smaller work. And she was commissioned uh, by the city and the uh, uh, stu uh, Student Arts League, I believe. And this sculpture is just so magnificent. You can see that she's taken all of her experience and passion and knowledge and really uh, created an extraordinary, extraordinary work of art. You can look at the sculpture of the Phoenix from any angle. And even sitting in the cafe and looking from a distance through the trees, you see the different sunlight on it. And it's just a, a beautiful, extraordinary piece. Hi, I'm Dr. Susan Eisen. I'm a holistic chiropractor in New York City. And I actually first met Carolina through a friend of mine in the fashion industry. Of course, I followed all of her work and she's just spectacular. So tell us what do you think about this specific? I love it. I just saw it before I came up and it's wonderful. And I'm looking forward to seeing her in much larger installations. My name is Kusi Osei. I'm an art director and an artist. It's really been wonderful to see her work, how it's been growing in the various mediums. She's been, uh, you know, uh, challenging herself in, in just exploring her creativity and her artistry. Um, so this is the first time I've seen this work. Uh, you know, live, seen it uh, firsthand. It's very impressive in terms of scale, uh, and I feel the movement of the piece is, is very dynamic, and it, it it's really very her. You know, in sense that uh, with the 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 bronze foils you put on the steel and everything, it has the, uh, a lot of humanity in it. Uh, also, the edges, the way she she uh, utilized her techniques in terms of just there's a rawness to it and there's a femininity and there's a mystery uh, with the dynamic feel of it. So it, it has a lot of energy and it really you know, speaks to who she is. 
when you see this piece, you kind of know who Kyleen is as an artist. I feel it really un un encompassed, uh, encompassed that in, in many ways. I'm very happy to be here and see it. Miguel Poltiera, an architect. I've been living in New York for about 20 years. I design airports for the Port Authority of New York, New Jersey. And this piece that you see behind me is the largest piece that she's done so far. Uh, it's an evolution of it's about work that I've seen during the last five years. I started with using one sheet of metal, cutting a, a template, and then extruding the, the metal to create the three-dimensional object. And overall, I'd say this is her latest masterpiece. Uh, I remember Frank Lloyd Wright once said, was asked, what's your favorite piece? What's your favorite work of art? And he'd always say, my next masterpiece. And I think Caroline is going the same as someone like Frank Wright, where you always ask her, what's the, your favorite piece? And it's always the next one. And the next one keeps getting larger and larger and more elaborate uh, and much more expressive about uh, the power of life. So, good luck to her. My name is Brian Moran. Um, I am an entrepreneur. I've uh, been working with entrepreneurs for the last 25 years or so, helping them run better businesses. I met Carolyn, uh, Caroline um, three years ago, and the piece that she did today, the unveiling of it, the Phoenix, is to me a culmination of all of the great work that she's done over the last decade or so. It really is an amazing piece and uh, is a tribute to her creativity and her genius. Here we are, we're done. The fabrication, preparation, installation, scaffolding. Uh, the weather was uh, good with us, no rain. Actually, little, but in, not in the right time. And uh, the TV interviews in New York, New York one. We had the Wall Street Journal. It was like a great, uh, great coverage. And uh, the opening was beautiful event as well with the city of New York, Greg Wyatt. The team of the welders from Serret Metal came as well. So this was wonderful. My family came to visit, my mother, my sister from Monaco. And uh, that was Thursday and now Sunday. Other friends came all the afternoon to come and visit and, uh, and discover the Phoenix as well. So I think we can say mission accomplished. And now I invite you to come and visit the, the site. It's on 68th Street and the Hudson River. And it's going to be there till uh, May 2016. So enjoy the river, the view, and uh, I hope you will like the artwork. Thank you very much.